Беру Арнуга Вайшнава. Will also instruct him to seek only that power for which he has greed. He will know about all the rasas, but he will serve only by one mood, the mood of his Thai Bhava. What is the Thai Bhava? Ah, oh, you have, you have, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, Stai Baba. So, we have many Baba. Uh, one has uh, many relationships. One relationship is Shantarasa. Neutral relationship. Then another relationship with Dasharasa. This uh, master and the servant relationship. <laughs> and also Sakyarasa. Friendly relationship. And another one is Basarerasa. It's parents and son or daughter. And also Madura Rasa Lava relationship. This Madura Rasa is two kind. Marriage relationship and non marriage relationship. Also, among non marriage relationship, we say parakia nasa. If we marriage is swakia nasa. <coughs> So parakiyarasa, among the parakiyarasa, so there is a, briefly two groups. One is uh, Saki's relations, Saki Baba. Saki means uh, uh, lady friends, some of who has uh, some lady has a relationship with Radha, with friendly. That person would be Saki. And another one is <coughs> we say Manjari. Or sometimes we say Kinkari. Manjari is like a bad. Saki is like a flower. So Manjari does not want to direct relationship with Krishna. Manjari is thinking, Oh, Krishna's Radha Rani is Krishna. My, my master, my, my mistress is Radha. So I just serve Radha as Dashi. Dashi is intention is how to please Radha. How to how to make some meeting between Radha and Krishna. 
So this is Stai Baba. Stai means fixing. Stai Baba is fixing one point. So another Baba is like a Sanchari, always moving. So sometimes say we think, oh, I like Basara relationship. One day we think, oh, I, I would like to be like Mother Yashoda. And then next time, someone who here, Radha's pastime. Oh, then sometimes people think, oh, I would like to become Saki, like Saki. I want to enjoy Rasarira with Krishna. Or sometimes here, Virapak Manjari. Oh, actually, Manjari is good. So then we thinking, oh, we want to become manjari. But it is said uh, we should serve only one Baba. <laughs> so this is the up to us. Which Baba would, would you like to have? <laughs> because someone who has natural tendency to have one Baba. <clears throat> you go for translation to one. So bad. So, our Godia Sampradaya, Sama Furu, I follow Chai Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Especially here, it is the uh, Rupa Nuga Vaishnava. So, Rupa Anuga. Rupa means Rupa Manjari. Anuga means follow. So, someone who follow Rupa Manjari. That's Vaishnava, it is called the Rupanuga Vaishnava. Here, here, indirectly mentioned, Rupanuga means following Rupa Manjari. <laughs> so Rupa, Rupa Nuga Vaishnava is fixing one point <laughs> following Rupa Manjari. If somehow the mind is fixing to follow to follow Rupa Manjari. That Stai Baba, fixing Baba. So it is mentioned this Stai Baba manifest. <coughs> Someone who has strong greed to get it. <clears throat> the question arises. How to get 
greed. How to get this style Burma? <laughs> then we need to associate someone who has the same style Burma. <laughs> So if we want to follow Rupa Manjari, then we have to follow only someone who has Manjari Baba. So therefore, Raga Bharat Machandurika, it is there. From beginning, Bhakti is always very broad. <laughs> but if we want to get perfection, this, this way is very narrow. <laughs> then we need to associate only Sajati Sangha. <laughs> Means we have to associate with someone who has the same Baba. <laughs> if we want to become Manjari, we have to associate with someone who has Manjari Baba. <laughs> this is mentioned, Stai Baba mentioned, <clears throat> literally very easy to understand. <laughs> but honestly speaking to fixing one stai baba is not so easy <laughs> If we hear many subject matter, if we looking after information, all this knowledge, all that knowledge, that person, it is difficult for them to get to stay back. From beginning, it may be some knowledge to, 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 to follow a certain way. But at a certain point, we have to give up. So therefore, Guru Dev say, if we try to gather information, always correcting information, always changing Guru Dev, always changing Stai Baba, always changing Baba. That's part, that person, it is very difficult to get Stai Baba. <laughs> to get one style Baba, we have to we have to select one Ishtadeva. <laughs> Sometimes we have tendency, we have so much pilgrimage. <laughs> Seeing this place, that place, this temple, that temple, this city, that city. <laughs> to have a style, Baba, we, we have to fix one Ishtadeva. <laughs> Otherwise, it is difficult to stay one Baba. <laughs> so then, question arises. Someone who has one Stai Baba, fix, fixing Stai Baba, <laughs> how to behave, how to talk, 
In Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna is asking, what is the symptom? Someone who has beyond the guna. So we are we are asking, what's the symptom? Someone who has Stai Baba. As Manjari Baba, for example. He is out of guna. Hmm? He is out of guna. Who? Who is a Stai Baba? Yes. Very. <laughs> that is the point. <laughs> Because if we are influenced by Guna, we cannot stay one point. <laughs> so then it not to mention this book. Someone who has Stai Baba, especially say is Rupa Nuga. Someone who has Manjari Baba, how he behave, how he talk, how to eat. This is very interesting. If we could know these things, we could understand, oh, he's one point, he has style, but <laughs> Guru Dev is checking someone, someone who is style Baba or not. <laughs> we may not understand, but the Guru Dev knows very well. So I want to give some glimpse of Staiba, some of Staiba. <laughs> Very nice place. Someone who has said, for example, so we are following Rupanuga Vaishnava. So I don't speak Bhatsarya Rasa or Saki Baba, I don't want to speak. I want to speak only Manjari Baba. Yeah. So someone who has Manjari Baba, only interesting hearing Birapax Manjari. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Some of who, some Harikata who's relating Radha Mohan with Manjari. Yes. He does not want to hear Gopara's leader, no. He does not want to Saki's Baba, maybe no. Because he's fixing one point as Manjari. He does not move even one inch, one point, one, one minute. <laughs> Whatever eating, for example, we are eating prasad. So how to taste prasad? Yeah. So that if someone who is Manjari Baba, he's yeah. thinking, oh, this is Radha's Mohan eating, also Radha's eating. As we, as a Manjari, we are tasting Radha's remnants. Yeah. Mm. Only. 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 No Vishnu Prasada. No, 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 no. no Nurisya Prasada. No. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, if I can I'm sorry. So at least meditation should be like this. <laughs> so 
We try to serve Gurudev. We, our meditation should be as Manjari. We are serving Guru Manjari. So Guru Manjari is some seva for Radharani. <coughs> so Guru Manjari's intention is how to please Radha. How Radha and Krishna's meeting, how should we arrange? Any say, but like, like we are making this Mara Garand. So we are thinking. We are making this garland <coughs> for Radha and for Radha's Mohan. Yes. <laughs> so any seva, we are cooking. We are cooking for helping Radha. Yeah. So Radha, Radha is cooking for Krishna. So we are helping cooking for Radha's Krishna. <laughs> so that if some of us type Baba, we see everything relationship is Radha's Radha and Radha's Moha. <laughs> this is a very small example. Therefore, we could understand what kind of subject matter he would like to speak or she would like to speak. How to mood he or she has. In Chai Chan Charita Murita, Mahaprabhu does not want to hear anything Rasa Bans. So always Swarupa Damodara, before hearing, before reading, always Swarupa Damodara checking. Someone who is Stai Baba or some fan, someone who is mixing Baba. One day, <coughs> small story. One day, Gora Gomina Sai Maharaj was telling us. Nitai Gora. Especially Gora. We are in peacock feather. <laughs> Gora Gomez say Maharaj say. No peacock feather for Goranga Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Why? Then the question arises, why? Okay. But uh, many devotees putting, you know, peacock feather in Nittai Gora. So at that time, we are very new fight. So then Gora Gomina said, Maharaj said, Please, please meditate to think about Gora's mood. Yeah. What kind of Gora has? What kind of mood Gora has? Gora. Then question arises. Goranga Mahaprabhu has Krishna's mood or Radha's mood? 
of course, sometimes, you know, maybe different situations, sometimes may be Krishna's mood. I cannot say, you know, only this mood is correct. But uh, according to Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna want to appear as Goranga Mahaprabhu. Krishna steals Radha's mood and also Radha's kanta, Radha's bodily color. Then we understand, generally speaking, what kind of mood God has. <laughs> he is acting as ordinary devotee. A mood is Radha's mood, <coughs> Radha's Baba. So, Gora Gomina Swami gives us insight, insight, perspective. So, what kind of meditation we should have it? So, similarly, someone who has Manjari Baba, so how to behave, how to meditate, how to talk. This is very interesting. <laughs> Maybe in detail, Gurudev may, may say more. We have to go on. Sorry, sorry, Gurudev. Sorry, I, I talk too much. No, very good. We have many points to clear it. Only what's meaning to understand. This meaning of that. This very deep meaning. <laughs> if the bhav is not a side, our progress, nothing happens. <coughs> no progress. What do we do? If I cannot fix my out of gunas and not fix my nature, what is, I am to go there, I will never go there. One nature has to fix inside us. And our suffering is that, that we are in gunas. Rajoguna, Tamoguna, Satoguna. So this is never fixed. And this is the suffering. As time comes beyond suffering, Shift Purushat is Prem Purushat. No Prem Purushat only required. Six Purushat we need. Six Purushat is Sarup Purushat. My uh, spiritual identity to speak. Seven Purushat is also there. That is Rasatas. That is seven Purushas. But we are we do nothing in a spiritual life. What we are living in Gunas. Passing time for what? In nowhere. Pancham Purushat means loving. Means loving means never see the negative things. This is not. Never think for negative, never talk for negative, never assess anyone negative. You have to see, did they move the shamri? Then I see, my dear, everywhere you are there. This sham is my shamri, you are there. This divine reason has to come. Then you are out of goodness. And six, when this is happening, then you come to the soul 
consciousness. And soul is not also, is also three gunas are there. Condition, marginal, and independence. So if then, because of the Krishna nature, part and parcel of the Krishna nature, <coughs> we are independent. We say, I follow you, but I don't follow you, because I'm independent. I'm conditioned because Somebody open the mic, phone, ping pong. <laughs> so that that we have to decide. <laughs> what is my spiritual life? What means the spiritual life? That outside I change, I am becoming a spiritual person. It means out of material thing is spiritual. I am thinking what I am thinking only material thing. This is a spiritual. Thinking material or become a spirit. Mind is there. Say that is Yeah. So go on. This is a type how is very important. If a type how not there, all suffering can be. Hundred percent is there. You cannot go out from that. You are never satisfied. Stop. <coughs> so here in brackets it says. Sai Baba is his permanent constitutional relationship with Sri Sri Radha Krishna. Right. What? A Sai Baba, I can say you to see Jesus has also a Sai Baba with his father. You know Jesus, right? Why you say spiritual to him? Because he has a loving relation with his mother. Understand? Simple understand now. Why to Sanskrit to explain? You will not understand by Sanskrit. <laughs> So Jesus has a style now. So he's crucifying become useful for him. That is a style now. He no bother for anything because his love was there. He is a deep love of his mother. And his father is not genetic father or material father, it was divine father. Understand? This is a type. You see the priest also, right? Like we, we are the priest, right? So what is, you can say it's spiritual because they are religious. They have no relation any place with anyone. So who has a no relation is no meaning. So understand this is a time now. This is a really, really helpful for myself and you become detached with everything. 
the moment you understand this, the day you understand, your problem is gone. And you will practice. <laughs> Once Sthai Bhava will manifest only when Prema is reached. Pancham Pursar. I always say when the Pancham Pursar is out of Guna, then because out of Guna you are in soul. And this soul does not want to be God. This soul not want to be Bhagani. This soul not want to be spark looking. He is only interested in love. Then one day mercy will come. And then we get the Sthai Bhava. A sthai Bhava a constitutional position mm. that is constitutional position without constitutional position means my form, my relation is a fiction. Relation is fixed with you. What is other problem? You will hear me. That's it. Why I bother for materials? And without constitutional position, it will never happen. But greed for that Thai Bhava awakens even before that. Right. Yeah. This greed is required. This greed is required. Greed is for this. Not for Krishna. Not for Radha. When greed will come for Thai Bhava, then I will decide what is to do. I need Radha, Krishna, Jesus, what I need, what you need. You decide when you fix that which relation you want to move. Mm. If you have no greed, you will not try for that. You like to be in goodness, to live in the pain. You want to be suffer more, right? Because it's, it's relishing, it's not suffering, it's there, relishing. It's suffering, it's relishing too. Because I like to live in the pain. I don't want to fix myself. Okay, do it. <laughs> Genuine greed, which does not change in this or any future life, is called Gada Sanskara. Gada. Mm. Gada. 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 Sanskar. Ah, Tikar. Ah, Tikar. Gadha. Okay. Gadha means it. Gadha means donkey. Okay. Gadha means Gadha means Gadha. Gadha means condensed. Ah. That is condensed. Okay. Bhava becomes condensed saru. Right, Maharaj? Yes. Yes. Gada. 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 Gada.
Right, yes. Sickness. 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 Ah. Sickness. Ah. Guru Dev, there is end notes from Jaiva Dharma about this God. Huh? Would you like to hear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's from Jaiva Dharma by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Disciple asks, Vajranath asks, Prabhu, what are deep impressions? Mm. Gadha, Samskara, Gadha. God ha God ha God ha God ha so what are the deep impressions you have spoken of in this context. So Guru Gopal Goswami answers, Baba, you have been revolving in the circle of karma, birth after birth. This is Gunas. This is bringing, Gunas are bringing me karma. Mm. Karma is bringing by my Gunas. <laughs> and I think that I'm doing okay. You do nah. karma will come for you. Oh. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Do and you have to good and bad karma, you have to take it. Shakti said, I'm not a doer. I'm a viewer, you are doer. Although they do, but they do by their instruction, so they think that they are not doer. This is the difference between material person and a spiritual person. Still, when I am thinking that I am a doer, I am a owner. And when I am a viewer to you, always I see you and I follow your instruction. You give me advice, I do it. <laughs> that is, we are this child, we are looking at we are following your instruction. Why I love Jananda? Because he become now viewer by the mercy of Prabhupada, Narayan Maharaj, and all Mahajan's association. And his studies are very deep. And he becomes viewer, so he can explain with all details about to you more than me. So I recommend him to listen to you. Listen. Because he become viewer, doer, but to listen from doer. Because he is still in karma, gunas. This is the difference between uh, and viewer and doer. Honestly, we are viewer, we are not doer. Imagine what happened in our life. We are what we are doing. Unexpected thing what's happening. We are viewing that. 
right? We have to work, not get to work. And then you flee. Understand? What is my suffering? Because I'm a doer. Okay, do. Take more karma and suffer more. One small thing will not happen. You will suffer like anything. You will lose a great whole night sleeping. All body will become sick. Why sickness? I'm a key nearby. I'm not sick now. Before I was sick. When I am a doer. No, I am not sick. And I am very fresh because I try to follow Mahajans only. I am not pure. I try to associate with Shananda, associate with Mahajans because I feel. Associate with Gaurasundara, Gauranga Sundara. They are showing me the way, and all of, all of you showing the way. How you are suffering, that you show the way. That how much you are suffering with you becoming doer. I feel it. <laughs> But I know when I will say you will not change yourself. <laughs> when you pay the fees, and they will advise you, you will not change by my telling. So I am telling you to come to the <laughs> and thus, because of attachment to worldly sense gratification, consciousness chitta is made up of two types of impressions, <laughs> sanskara. <laughs> that is Vritti, Vritti means circle, chitta circle. Chitta, Vritti, Vritti means circle. Mano Vritti and Chitta Vritti. Explain that. <laughs> So, chitta um, means <laughs> chitta vritti, mano vritti. Narayan Maharaj many times say chitta vritti and mano vritti. These have to be changed here. Yes. I'm telling you, mano vritti. Is a mind circle. I am living in mind and I am creating many items. And what is that? All material items. Check it. Any spiritual thing? Nothing. Is a manoeuvre thing. Because I have no idea of my chitta, my soul. I have no idea. I am so busy to manage myself. Are you managing? Collecting money. And what you will do with that? I don't know. But it is safety. <laughs> Why not be peaceful? <laughs> is a manobritti, and then A, B, C, D will come. That is the I'm rolling in that circle, right or not? This is happening. <laughs> 
Right? Do you understand that? I'm in the circle of my mind. And my mind is thinking. I'm living and I'm if it's good, then no problem. When you not know your chitta, not so you not know the right position of yourself, your consciousness. You are where where you are. <laughs> And when you come to Chitta then Manobhati will come favorably. The mind is start working in that way. Mind also moving in the Chitta Vritti, mind becomes in front of the Manobhati. That circle, mind will start. So that is the thing. If you not steal this subject, it will be suffering all the time. <coughs> you have to come to the right place and make the circle. The right circle will happen. And from Chitta Vritti, this mind will become out of the goal and he will go do the things that he will like. You need mind out of false ego. Right now. Working is not bad. Who says the working is bad? But not in friends in Mano Do not make the circuit there of me. Done. What and go out. Could I have a little to explain this Mano Britti Chitta Britti is okay? Yeah. More express. <laughs> <laughs> It's difficult to explain, but I try to explain. Prabhupada <laughs> mentioned uh, mind, how mind is working. Uh, Prabhupada said mind is working. It's Uh, feeling and thinking and willing. So, and mana, manaha is, is mind say, related with false ego. So false ego means not to real ego. False ego means I'm mati I'm this body. I'm the doer. I can enjoy. This is mine. This is false ego. Then if some 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 sense perfect perception there. <laughs> something feeling and start thinking with with false ego <laughs> means I'm doer I'm enjoyer I'm doing this is mine this kind of mentality <laughs> and then thinking Weeding is all the material. <laughs> Next thing, chitta vritti. So, how to explain this chitta? 
and different meaning. I try to explain a little bit the spiritual point of view. Chitta means, you know, Sat Chit Ananda. Chit means, Chit means some consciousness, some ability to know. So, and the chitta, actually chitta come from no, so, connect, yeah, connect, so, and then this real sense of chitta is coming from soul. So, then some sense perfection coming. Then, two way of, two way of uh, thinking. One is with false ego. One is no false ego. Guru they mentioned no false ego is we are viewer. Someone who has false ego, I'm doer. I can get the result. <laughs> so if we are in that consciousness, manoguriti means false ego, then all our thinking, thinking, all we are reading, all material, then, then affected by the mode of nature. This is say, Gita say, this is duality. This is the good, this is the bad. I don't like this one, I like this one. This is success, this is failure. This duality all coming from manubriti with false ego. So if we from this guna, if we we concentrate soul or our swarupa, then, then this chitta briti, consciousness direction, brit means round, moving. So which direction we should move? Spiritual conscious soul or Radha Moha? Or this bodily consciousness? Guru Dev told me, tell me, stop study Sanskrit. Why is that? Why is that? Because to to study Sanskrit always material platform means mental platform. If you study with false ego, what to use your knowledge? Waste of time. This is heavy for me. I want to be scholar. I want to. I want to get a PhD. But if I get a PhD, I'm puffed up. What to use this PhD? If I, yeah, my Abhiman, I'm Skara, I'm PhD holder, it's nonsense. We are rather dusty. So this is heavy for me, honestly. <laughs> of course. <laughs> One month I could complete all Karina Murita Piyakara. <laughs> One month only. Yeah, but you say stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, my teacher was shocked <laughs> because Many students, I'm only one student. Many in, even Indian students quit because too, too hard. <laughs> I remember only one person. Oh, I'm foreigner. 
What the Guru Dev say? Stop it. I shocked honestly. Then my decision, my cheat fact to do. Follow, follow my false ego, manobriti. Follow my spiritual direction, Guru's instruction. So I think, oh, I my policy blindly follow Guru Dev instruction. I don't know it's good or not. But my position is follow Guru Dev instruction. Then I say, okay, Guru Dev. I follow. And that day I went to Sanskrit teacher, Hindi teacher. Sorry, I'm very sorry. Please forgive my offense. My good dad said, told me, stop study Sanskrit, stop study Hindi. So now I cannot study. At least now I have to stop it. <laughs> so always we ha we have to we can choose chittability our consciousness is spiritual direction Radha Mohan's direction Radha Dash's direction or bodily conscious material con material direction. <laughs> So Guru Dev therefore said, don't think, you are too pandit. If Guru Dev say you are pandit, it's not, it's not praising you. Indirectly say you are fool. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, before Guru Dev always called me, oh, Panditji. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm such a fool. <laughs> I don't understand any spiritual matter. <laughs> Only gathering information. <laughs> that is Guru Dev's word. <laughs> This is a very tricky, Guru Dev. <laughs> you have to be very careful. <laughs> but you have to follow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a brief explain. <laughs> 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 but you get the result. How many are following you? I don't know honestly how many following me, honestly speaking. I have a 250 yoga teacher, maybe 300 yoga teacher. I have. They have probably 4,000, 5,000 students. Only yoga, yoga, yoga students. <laughs> My one student has a follower, Japanese follower, 10,000. Chinese follower, 10,000. Only one disciple. <laughs> you do right thing or not? <laughs> I say, I don't know the result. Because I'm not thinking anything. I am following Guru Dev's order blindly, honestly. Then, without any play, any glorification come to Guru Dev. Any criticism come to me. <laughs> I will accept you. Know? I don't care someone, someone who is criticizing me, praising me, I don't care. I only care to please Gurudev or to, to please Radha Mohan. That's it. 
I forget everything. I test you many times. <laughs> this test is very heavy. Very heavy test. Very heavy test. <laughs> and he, 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 he cannot do what I say, but he do it. <laughs> very heavy test, I do. <laughs> you know, after I go to everything from Gurudev, I have a student visa, I have money with me, I could stay five years or ten years in India. <laughs> but he immediately said, go back to Japan. <laughs> what talking about? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, now I get to your association. Now I go to the other thing. Then you kick me out? <laughs> kick me out of Brindaba? I don't understand. And then asking, Will Dev, this is the order? Your, your wish? Then Guru said, yes. Then I don't want to argue anything. I follow. Your instrument. Okay, I go back to Japan. I do whatever you like. Not I like. He told me, give Harinam, accept the disciple. No, Guru Dev. I have no qualification. I have no, I don't want this one. But his order, then okay, I accept you, your 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 instruction on behalf of you. I will not do myself. I do for you. <laughs> Therefore. <laughs> I accept the disciple, but uh, some brain may come to me. But uh, I'm blind following Guru Dev. So what to do? Please give me instruction. You know. He's an example. Ananda Maharaj is an example. I can say. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. <coughs> yeah. oh. is made up of two types of impressions. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Namely, those acquired in previous lives, Praktana, and those acquired in this life, Adunika. <laughs> During this time, the pure tendency of the heart that was present in the pure existence of your Atma has been distorted. And, uh, yeah. During this time, the pure tendency of the heart that was present 
in the pure existence of your Atma yeah. has become distorted. Yeah. <laughs> now, by the influence of spiritual merits, Sukriti, accumulated in many previous lives, you have attained satsanga in this life. <laughs> and you are creating sanskaras by performing bhajan in this association. When these sanskaras dispel the distorted samskaras, your original samskaras will arise. The achintya tattva will manifest within your heart to the degree that these samskaras deepen. And this is known as Gadha. <laughs> Samskara. Gadha. Samskara. Gadha. 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 That I repeat because you remember. Yeah, remember, yeah. remember. I can practice for it. <laughs> because okay. that sanskara changed with the effect of the other sanskara. <laughs> because Sukriti is not there previous. <laughs> so takes time. A previous Sukriti is very fast. <laughs> Sukriti means previous sanskara, previous the fixed deposit is there. <laughs> Don't take time to understand. If not, then I listen, but it's not go to the mind. Mine is not accepted <laughs> because being flexured from the art dances covered. So this subject not become interested. <laughs> then we think that no, no this is not the case. And this is a spiritual fact. What we do is not a spiritual, it is religious activity. From this thing, what is in hidden path of devotion, your spiritual practices start from this. Right? Yes. This is sadhana. So, I just want to explain a little bit. <laughs> Gurudev often say religious activity and spiritual activity. So, religious activity means we are think we are body, we are material body. And then we do some activity, some for sale. That is religious activity. In other words, like material activity. But the good the real thing is spiritual activity. As as a spirit, as our swarupa, as swarupa consciousness, we we do some activity. The atma, not an atma, soul in the soul consciousness. 
at first so no? yeah at first so so then I and mean. and then if we more advanced then we can have it so I don't so then I get like say more. So we practice at first many maybe here I don't know. Some devotee practice by devakti. So we also do by devakti. According to Guru Dev's vision. By the bhakti is religious activity. Because we don't realize soul. We don't realize swarupa. Then even we do spiritual activity. <coughs> but this, according to Guru Deva, this is religious activity. <laughs> But if we <clears throat> come to platform, soul, spirit, soul, if we, if we more advance, we we just we attain the stage of swarupa. That is a dear spiritual activity. So and the Guru Dev told us. <clears throat> so material one life. Spiritual life balance should be balanced, <clears throat> but we should do as spiritual consci consciousness. If possible, swarupa consciousness. We are rather dusty. And if we do every activity, then we are not to do. We are become pure, then we can beyond the guna, beyond the duality. Hmm. But we are always looking, oh, this is good person, this is bad person, this is success, this is failure, this is, this is sin, this is not the sin. This is good, this is bad. Only our, our calculation, the material calculation, coming from a full circle. So we try to be on it. This, how to be on it? This is come from association. One day Guru Dev told us, if you have friend, five person, if you have friend, five Siddha person, you you'll become Siddha also. If you have friend, only material conscious person, you cannot be Siddha. So therefore, association is very important. So, like here, association is, uh, you know, Guru Dev, association Kesha Baba. Also, association with uh, very <coughs> Yashika Barishnamba. We need it. <coughs> Something came. <coughs> Something came to my mind when you were talking about the mind of us. I want to put my mind in the heart. So, actually, before religious practice or writing, there is one level cultural. So the beginning of devotional service for most of us, because we don't have sufficient samskaras, devotional samskaras, is starting from the cultural level. What does it mean, cultural level? I like music, which devotees are playing. I like to be in sari. I like to be in Doti. 
all external marks and everything which is externally so fascinating for me is a cultural way of living in association of the world completely external and many years can pass in this kind of consciousness. Then, sincere devotees are trying to go above this cultural way. And they are <clears throat> going in the path of Vaidiva, or religious. I want to know and to understand who is about what is the purpose of life or something like this. But still, <clears throat> this is the bodily consciousness of life. And like Gurudev and Jaradeh Maharaj were explained, then the third level <coughs> is just the level of spiritual life. But my point was just to put a little bit further on the beginning of our very beginning. Most of us were very attracted just for the cultural way of devotional culture, not spiritual and not even religious. So that's yeah, very nice. Right. <laughs> you want to take more it. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Understand, <laughs> 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 Which level do you want to practice? <laughs> If one has a real greed, as Srila Rupa Goswami has, wow, wow, <laughs> this is my Yankul, this is my Mahajan, one's greed. For a particular Sthaibhava will never change in any birth. Sanaka, Sananda, Sanatana. And Sanat Kumara have their Sthai Bhava in Shantaras. Yet they can narrate the entire Srimad Bhagavatam. So Tamal Krishna Maharaj is asking, how is that? <coughs> I remember asking you that question before. Narayan Maharaj is answering. They can do so from their neutral position. They know all about the various rasas. But they don't have direct experience of the higher rasas. Tama Krishna Maharaj, what about Shukadev Goswami? Narayan Maharaj. Shukadev Goswami has some direct experience because he is the Shuka, parrot of Srimati Radhika. He therefore possesses a Stai Bhava of Raja. 
Tamal Krishna Maharaj. You have said a very important thing about Shukadeva Goswami. <coughs> Narayan Maharaj. As Srimati Radhika's parent, he sits on the branches of Tamal at Kadamba trees. He watches the confidential pastimes of Radhika and Krishna, and he becomes very, very pleased. Yet, he cannot serve like Rupa Manjari. Yeah, oh. well. Tamal Krishna Goswami. He's watching everything. So, what kind of bhava does he have? Narayan Maharaj. It has been said in Shastra that he is situated in Shanta Bhava. Tamal Krishna Goswami, because he is not neutral. Narayan Maharaj. But he is in Vraja. And there is no Shanta Bhava in Vraja. We will have to judge what rasa he actually possesses. When Shri Shri Radhika and Krishna are sleeping in the morning, Shuka says so many things to awaken them. Tamal Krishna Maharaj. That does not sound like Shanta Bhava. Narayan Maharaj, yes, it is not Shanta Bhava. Tamal Krishna Maharaj, he must have everything. Narayan Maharaj, yes, we will have to consider all these truths. Tamal Krishna Maharaj, then why is it said that he has Shanta Bhava? Narayan Maharaj, it is said for the, for the Shanta Rasa Bhaktas. Tamal Krishna Maharaj. So you are saying that externally it appears like that, Narayan Maharaj, but, but Tamal Krishna, but it is not actually. Narayan Maharaj. The cows of Raj have Vatsalya Bhava. So surely Shuka cannot be of Shantaras. To illustrate how to search out the process for attaining of the fruit of one's genuine greed. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur gives the example of a man who is greedy to drink milk. <laughs> Seeing some milk, he wants to taste it, so he undergoes a process to get it. He may ask someone who drinks milk, how that 
person acquired it. After questioning him, he will purchase a cow, making sure that the cow has a calf. Because unless the cow has a calf, it cannot give milk. He will then take the cow and calf to his home, where he will apply water or ghee to the other of the cow and bring the calf to drink. After the calf has taken milk, the man will wash the other of the cow and then milk her. Next, he will put the milk on the fire to boil. Then, if he wants that boiled milk sweetened, he adds sugar, and for extra flavor, he adds rose water, kevra, camphor, and so on. Similarly, although a sadarga with a genuine greed does not require the reasoning of Shastra to convince him to perform bhakti. He carefully studies those Shastras that will give him entrance into the process he requires for achieving his goal. Mm. <laughs> so it seems like first goal. What is America? Mm. <laughs> this is the process to take the milk. <laughs> so is a, in the scripture they say what is the process to get the milk? <laughs> this is the meaning of it. <laughs> To get the milk in the good. Yeah. Not the process. I buy the car, oh, do this and this and this. And then wait for doing them, buy the food and this, taking care and they take the milk. But the milk is the good. Yeah. So we read the sasa to reach to the goal, understand that. Because of milk. Yeah, we need milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we just boil that milk. After boiling, and that makes up take to drink it nice. <laughs> yeah. The goal is to drink it well. <laughs> and this process is the Sastra, mm. how to get the best. This, is ne this next is interesting, good at all. She will be carefully. I say, you know, this book is Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> For that, I go. It's spiritual. Right. Mm. If so simply explain, I don't understand, it's a very surprise. It's so light, I just do. Mm. Mm. And then, so, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur tells us that when a person has actual greed, he also follows the procedures of Vaidhi Bhakti. However, his Bhakti is not Vaidhi Bhakti. It is Raganuga Bhakti. He engages in the nine processes of bhakti, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam, and so on. 
from the very beginning, he will carefully perform Guru Charanashraya, taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru and faithfully serve him in Vishramba Bhava. Closeness. Close. To be close. close. So this is also a question from Tamil Krishna Maharaj. What is the meaning of Vishramba? <laughs> <laughs> so Narayan Maharaj answers. It implies Buddhistic giving up all fear. Uh -huh. It implies giving up all fear. Fear caused by the sense of awe and reverence is not present. Fear, yeah, what they do, many make you to fear. Mm. You are still now guilty. <laughs> this, that. If you are still guilty, then we have fear. It's always there. The disciple serve, serves his guru and a, as a bosom friend, not thinking I am very low and he is very high. Rather, he feels that he is mine wow. and I am his. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> so, Guru Dev, it means that this kind of intimacy, Vishrampa, is actually bringing devotee out for this fear. Yeah, yeah. Believe. Fear is because I don't believe. I have a doubt. So I'm fear. If I believe someone, why I will doubt it? If I believe, why believe on you? Why she doubts? You will arrange everything to it. So if anyone believes in someone, what is the problem? If I believe to Radha Mohan, what is fear to me? Everything comes because I have no fear. I have no doubt in him. I believe in his mercy. Fear is coming when you have a doubt. And you are not close Rather, I have been Shadina. So nice. So Niti writes in German, and this book is of so many books. She gave to the German devotee. But I don't know who understands this and practicing English. This is very, very important to understand. Uh, Govinda Mohini also translate in Russian. My God, I'm proud of Govinda Mohini is very special. She is Mohini to me by her service. <laughs> Thank you to everyone giving 